I think there are issues when joining a mat. I think the, the, the issues are slightly different when you're creating a mat. So when joining a mat, it's not asking the right questions. It's not doing the due diligence and it's being told something that you want to hear, but not actually checking that. It's not, it's not negotiating your scheme of delegation, which says what's the non-negotiable. Bearing in mind that, if you don't know what's coming in the Academy of Trust world, the scheme of delegation can be changed the day after conversion and it can be changed 365 times a year. So in other words, the, joining a multi-academy trust, you need to, to understand what that trust is all about. There are five key areas joining a multi-academy trust. Those areas are standards and track record, how many skills have gone into that map and have they gone backwards in Ofsted ratings, the people and leadership, who are the decision makers, financial sustainability, and most skills in that multi-academy trust now in deficit because they have joined the multi-academy trust. People, um, the vision and growth plan. In other words, where, do you, where does the trust see itself? Does it now want three skills a year for the next three years? So it's limited itself on time and it's limited itself on numbers. And also it's risk management. So in other words, does it understand what's potentially coming at it and has it planned for it? So joining a multi-academy trust, if that's what really needs to happen, they're the common issues that that isn't done robustly. Creating a multi-academy trust, there are five key areas that you would do on due diligence and, it, and if it's not done properly, you're banking a problem. So those due diligences when, when you create a multi-academy trust are reviews of teaching and learning. Are you actually joining something with, or creating something with other schools where the core product of what we're in is wrong? Financial sustainability again. Are you joining a, or creating a mat with schools that are all in deficit that you will inherit? The governance. Are the governors right? Can a governor step up and be a trustee of a multi-academy trust or is that governor really limited to being a governor in the local governing body? A condition survey. Are we taking on a school here that's got one million pounds worth of essential repairs that we will have to fund? And that isn't done very well. Um, and the last one is, teaching, uh, is, is leadership and management. So in other words, what is the relationship like between the, the SLT and the staff body? And are we buying into a problem there? So the common issues are, they haven't done the due diligence wisely, they've not asked the right questions, they've taken things at face value, and they've done it too quickly. They have thought that this sounds too good, and it probably is.